guys, today we are going to be building a very, very, very simple machinery to make use of this motor. It's called a DC motor. So, for this machinery, we will be needing this. This is the main board where you connect all the motors, the batteries, and the RC receiver which connects to our remote we have here. So next we have these blue parts. These are just blocks that I'm going to be using to make as a stand for our motor. Next on the list we have these. These are called stoppers. So when you put in a pin you can for example when you put in a gear in a pin it can easily go out so you need to put a stopper right here so the gear doesn't get out so next we have this this looks like a pin but it's not exactly a pin it is like a pin but it doesn't have this um stopper on it. It's called a shaft. These are battery packs which are already filled in with batteries and this is our platform we are going to be working on. So let's start. So first we need to connect these two parts to the motor as stands. Then we need to connect the motor to our main platform and in the motor shaft we need to connect this gear. Next, we need another gear. We need another small gear. So it can fit in between these two stands I made for my motor. So we would need a pin. The pin is going to come out from somewhere right, right here. No, it needs to be a, a block in. So, now I connected this gear, small gear, to our pin here, and which will, it will rotate by the first pin, which will rotate by the motor. So now we need a stopper to stop the gear from getting out of the, the, um, the pin. Next we need these three items, the middle sized cog, the medium one, the spin and the stopper. I'll connect them and I'll be back. So I connected this pin to our uh, medium gear and now I'm going to connect the stopper. Next is our large gear. realized that I needed another stopper to connect it to my large gear. So, now since I did not use a pin but I used a shaft, it's gonna come out. So now, all we need to do is connect something to the shaft. Anything we want, then we'll power it. I'll be back. very clearly but there is indeed another stopper there. Then I connect two of these barrel -like things like gears I would call them. Then two more stoppers and this gear type thing which spins. So now when I spin it you can hear that that sound. That is the sound of the motor Start 
by connecting the battery packs to this hole on the bottom of the main board. Then we need to connect the, the motor on either the left one or the right one. I don't actually know which one this one is. I'm going to try the left one first. So this is the RC receiver. It, RC stands for remote. R stands for remote and control stands for the letter C. This sticks on this top right square on the top one. On the top um, metal part. Now, you just need to turn it on. So you turn it on by pressing the power button and then you need to press the select mode button and you need to get the number 2 it was already 2 but I showed you how then you need to grab your remote and hold the character button and this arrow button so as you can see the ID is already on 2 but if you hold them and then press the character button, keep hold of that one, you will change your ID to 2 again. And then let go of them and press this button, I believe. No. Press this button, the character button. So now if you press this arrow, it will show you that it's 2. Even if you press these and it shows you another number, it's still 2. So now you have to hit the second button, which is the start button. Now you should be able to control this from these four buttons. These things and these buttons do exactly the same thing. But if your robot can move like forward and backwards, these are for forward and backwards, and these two are like for, for it to turn left or right. So, that's it for this video for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below, right down here in the comment section below. Bye!